First up is Ian listening in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma on Bot Radio. Hi, Ian. Hey. hey. Good to talk uh, to you. Yeah, good to talk to you. I've uh, been a supporter for a while and just got uh, going through the apocalypse code for the second time and just got flight. So real happy with all your all your uh, books and products that you, you uh, provide us with. Um, my question is, I had a conversation with a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, the other day about, uh, you know, of course, the rapture and all that good stuff. But um, it, I was finding evidence for, um, through the apocalypse, some of your uh, your thoughts in there. But one thing he, he brought up, and I told him I would get back to him with your answer, uh, he said, if Nero is the mark of the beast in, in Revelation 19.20, uh, if he is the in Revelation 19:20, it says that the beast and his prophet will be thrown into the lake of fire alive. He said, if Nero committed suicide, how does that jive? Well, remember the imagery that you have in Revelation chapter 19 is actually borrowed from the story of the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, who are destroyed in in fire and brimstone, and is combined as well with the rebels Korah and Dathan and Abiram, who along with their households were swallowed up by the earth's mouth. And so what John is doing now is taking that imagery and reworking it. And in doing that, he is describing how both the beast, and the beast does not only involve an individual, but an institution, in this case, the Roman Empire, and the woman who rides the beast, apostate Israel, how those who set themselves up against God, against the bride of Christ, uh, the purified bride, the 144,000, the full complement of God's people from every tongue and and every tribe and every people, uh, how they are ultimately going to be destroyed. So the language itself is judgment language that pretends the judgment of those that set themselves up against the people of God or true Israel. And that is essentially the story of Revelation in general. Uh, you, have, uh, you, you, you have the Roman Empire, the beast, And, of course, the head of the Roman Empire is in view as well. But when the beast is being talked about, oftentimes it is the Roman Empire in its entirety that is in view because the Roman Empire itself sets itself up against the people of God to destroy the people of God, as well as the woman who rides the beast or apostate Israel. But both of them are going to come to the end of judgment, and that's the point that's being made. And by the way, that point is made by futurists as well. The only thing that they do then is they take the whole scenario and move it up 20 centuries. 